They added emeralds to Valorant. You can now trade RR for emeralds. And as of recently, my teammates love trading my RR away. Okay, not really. But what Riot did do was add an entire new rank to competitive. Another 300 RR that you're going to have to climb in order to hit that next rank. They threw another rank in there because higher rank players were complaining that lower skilled players were ending up in their lobbies. Is this a good solution to this problem? Could Riot have done something different? It's been a full act. How is this new rank shaking up the meta? Have you been able to hit it? Let's find out and jump right into it. So let's start off by talking about what Ascendant is. And for those of you who don't know, it's essentially a rank between Diamond and Immortal. People in Diamond were complaining that they were playing with too low of ranks, and they felt like they were getting into games with people who were strictly worse than them. But more importantly, there were way too many people in Immortal. At one point in the last act, there was something like 20 plus thousand Immortals. I mean, does Immortal really sound like that prestigious of a rank if that many people are shoved in there? Not only that, but people would just sit in Immortal and never move. They'd drunk up out of Diamond, then never touch the game again. Uh, this is a problem because little Timmy could go on like a 15 game win streak, hit Immortal, then brag to his friends, and then just never touch the game again. This takes away that sense of pride and accomplishment that comes to hitting Immortal. I mean, if anyone can hit it, does it really even mean anything? This is why Riot had to step in and make some changes. They added Ascendant, and by doing so, so far it seems, Immortal seems harder to reach. I hit Immortal 2 the other day, and I'm top 2000, which sounds more reasonable than being top 20,000 or something. But, was this the best way to fix this inflation of Immortals? Well, maybe. Something we've noticed this act is it's not easy to ascend out of Ascendant, which definitely makes Immortal more of a difficult rank to achieve. Well, it's difficult for some people. We, on the other hand, have cracked the code and figured out how to make climbing as simple as possible. With thousands of hours between our world-class coaches, we've included everything you need to know to start climbing in Valorant effortlessly over at Skillcapped. Remember, if you were below Immortal last act, you should have ranked up this act if you're on the right track. Adding a whole new rank at the top of the leaderboard should have inflated your rank by around two whole divisions. If it didn't, it might be time for some help. Stop playing the game on hard mode and give us a shot. We have a rank improvement guarantee after all, meaning if you don't rank up, you don't pay. We'll see you there. So instead of a brand new rank, another widespread solution that people came up with was this idea of an MMR reset. All right, so this might get complex, but stay with me. Basically, your rank is determined by two things. Your MMR, which is your hidden rank, and your RR, which is your actual rank. And your MMR is based off of two things. Your encounter MMR and your win-loss MMR. Encounter MMR takes into account how you do against players you're playing against. This means things like engagements won, damage dealt, assists, and how well your utility usage is. When it comes to fights, Valorant looks at your rank compared to your opponents to reward or penalize you for the outcome of these fights. Win-loss MMR is a lot more simple and simply looks at who you win matches against. This article from 1esports goes into a lot more detail, so if you want to read about it yourself, you should go check them out. What Riot also claims that the lower rank you are, the more heavy the way you encounter MMR. The higher rank you are, they account for your win-loss MMR more. This is because at higher elos, the gap in mechanical ability starts to even out. Okay, so that was a lot of acronyms and a lot of explaining. Now here's the issue. Let's say that you're a Radiant Randy or a Diamond David and you don't play the game for an extended period of time. Whenever you come back, you'll still keep your MMR and still gain like 30 RR a game. This sucks because you don't know what the meta is, how to play the maps, who the new agents are or what they even do, but for some reason, you're still technically this high rank. An MMR reset would put everyone back at around the same level but even this solution has its issues. So let's imagine for a second that every Valorance player MMR was just magically reset. And when I say everyone, I mean everyone. Tens, Yay, Marv, Cryo, Shaz, they all started playing in the same lobbies as your previous gold, silver, bronze, and iron players. Don't you see how this can be an issue? You'd start seeing games with insane stat lines. People just wouldn't be having fun and Valorant would probably become less popular as pro smurfs start rampaging trying to get their MMR back up. So while an MMR reset might sound nice, it would probably be better to reset set it after a certain amount of time offline or something like that. A rank decay, some people call it. But by adding Ascendant, Riot might have achieved the same goal just by adding this new rank. So more importantly, how do games feel like now in this new act? Well, on our channel, I'm doing a Road to Radiant series where I'm trying to hit Radiant for the first time. Pretty straightforward. I've played about 140 games so far this act, and I'll be the first to tell you that the games do feel a lot better. I've encountered less trolls, and it seems like people are actually trying. On Reddit, there's this post by Mr. Aleko, and he made an infographic comparing the previous rank distribution of last act to the current one. The numbers represent the percentile each rank currently is compared to last act. Now you can see if your rank is artificially going up, or if you are truly climbing the hidden MMR ladder. So from what it seems like, Riot's new rank really solved some of these issues that players are having. 
Granted, it is still early in the act, but even from what I've seen from my friends' games and games on alt accounts, this graph pretty much sums up what I've experienced so far. Immortals, who shouldn't really be there, got bumped down into Ascendant, while Diamonds, who deserve to be higher, got pushed up into Ascendant as well. So, if you are in a lower rank, naturally you're going to see an increase in your rank. It's just how the math works. Or maybe you're actually climbing the ladder. This graph is a pretty good way to tell. Also, something I wanted to mention, one of the cool things now with Ascendant is that you can now trio queue all the way up until Immortal. Previously in Diamond, you'd only be able to do a queue, Diamond 3, and up. But now with Ascendant, you now have an entire rank to play more with your friends. You can now have an Ascendant 3, a Diamond 3, and an Ascendant 1 in your game and still play together. And this sort of kinda tackles some of the smurfing problem in Valorant as well. Higher ranked players wanted to play with their friends, so they'd hop on smurf accounts, and then they could. I mean, doing so would ruin the experience for newer players and steer them away from the game. This change makes more sense. Why not allow these people to trio queue? And then once they get to Immortal, that's when it gets serious. And for those of you wondering about four stacking, it shouldn't be allowed at any level. And it isn't, thank goodness. This is to prevent that solo queue player from getting ganged up on, left out of any comms, if their teammates are all in Discord together, you know, so on and so forth. It just wouldn't be fun if you're playing with a four stack. Okay, so Ascendant this, Ascendant that. Let's take a look at what Ascendant players actually look like. Yep, yep. Kevin and Jigar, no. All good, though. <laughs> Not as fast, man. I like it slow. Yeah, yeah like it slow, 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 slow. There we go. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Shake, Shake them, them bolts, baby. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 turn that off. No, okay, that's not family friendly. We're, we're gonna get demonetized. <laughs> okay, anyways, I was playing with some friends the other day on an Ascendant account, and here's a few rounds that we can go over. I'm the chamber, and I guess my Viper didn't want me to hold mid anymore. Here, my mic in this clip is muted, but watch it anyways. You'll see what I mean. You should do. It's time to play, man. Bye. Teleport's ready. Next. I'll need man, I'm trying to go. Look at their B side. Or not? Wait, joining. I put it down? I mean, I said hold me mid. I assume that you assume that the wall's going down. So Viper flashes her wall up, so I decide to leave since I'm opping. You know, why would I hold a smoke? Look at my minimap and just look at the space that I was holding. The second that that wall goes up is the second that the enemy team could creep up on me. My Viper's awareness isn't the best and doesn't notice that I'm nowhere near her and I can't help her, but like any other low rank player, she decides to blame her teammates anyways. In this next clip, you'll see me attack side opping, clearing angles one at a time. Yo, knife there. <laughs> Drone. That's the people I don't think so. Oh. Uh, this brimstone was playing close, but as he's backing up, he's just staring up at the drone, completely oblivious to anything around him, like he's looking at the stars or the sun or something. Maybe go back further so you can't get shot from belt? And then this Raze comes out of the smoke, looking at the entrance to A main. Oh, what is she looking at? I just killed her teammate from belt, why wouldn't she swing out belt? The awareness I've seen so far out of these players is abysmal. But wait, it gets better. Last player standing. Here. One ten. Our, 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 our. One enemy remaining. While this next clip plays, I want you to think about what the enemy team did wrong. We planted the spike, and it's a 2v1 retake favoring the enemies. Our jet only has a marshal. But just please stick the defuse. She can't spam. She doesn't have a specter or anything. Or, or just you could sit in the smoke and let her come to you. The enemy team didn't need to take this fight to our jet, but instead they could have played a patient and have her come to them, since all she has is a marshal. So as you've seen from this clips, Ascendant players might have aim, but I don't think they have that much of a brain. But this was all just one of many in-depth guides that we have on our website though. That's all we got for our video today. But remember that if you're really looking to improve in Valorant, I highly recommend checking out scopecap.com. We get it. You're just a player trying to get better at the game. That's why you're watching this video in the first place. You're capable of hitting that rank that you deserve, but there's no shame in asking for a little help. At skillcap.com, we spend hours going through viewer submitted replays to let you know all the mistakes that you're making. We also couple this with our smart commentaries to show players that it is possible to carry themselves out of whatever rank that they're stuck in. 
It might seem hopeless at times, but trust me when I say that we can help you all out. All you have to do is check out scocap.com, link in the description below. So with this new rank, Riot has really shaken up the competitive meta. If you're trying to climb the ladder, don't feel like you missed your opportunity to this act. With the new act starting soon, there's still tons of room for players to improve. And let's be honest, without a true MMR reset, the ranks are going to feel more or less the same, despite the inflation going on right now. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel down below. It really does help us out. And that's all for us. I'm Teets, and we here at Skullcap want to thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.